letter press printing is a long and endearing process. There's a start, a middle and an end. The difficult process is the manipulation of quite a limited tool set. So all the type is physical and it is made from metal or wood. I became a graphic designer by accident. I wanted to be an artist. I wanted to draw pictures for a living. And when I found out that that wasn't going to be possible, I fell into the realm of design. I suppose if you try and cast your mind back to the middle of the 15th century, before printing was invented, if you had a book, it was a very special object and very precious. It would have been handwritten. There'd only be one copy. It would have been kept in a box. But Gutenberg's invention of printing, and in particular movable type, revolutionized the whole learning ability of mankind. There's an inherent respect for the craft, an inherited almost respect for the time and the effort and that the skill. So when someone picks up a piece of letterpress printed ephemera or a book or a poster, because they can touch it, because they can hear the whisper of the paper, there's a, a respect that comes with it. Letterpress in its own way is quite limited. But it's when you can overlook that and see that as the challenge and work within the confines of the process that you can produce some very, very interesting and beautiful work, especially coming from operating an, a Mac where you can fit type in any way you want, you can stretch it out, you can reduce it. When you come in here, you've got to physically fit every single letter and space together, every full... If you leave out a full stop somewhere, you've got to go back and readjust everything to, to incorporate it. So it really trains your eye to a much finer level of observation. Because of the slow nature of the process, you have to consider every element of design um, thoroughly. Because if you make mistakes, it can cost a lot of time. So when you slow down and consider everything quite thoroughly, the process becomes more enjoyable because you're not um, being so quick and experimental. You're experimenting at a concept stage, and then once you get into the production stage, you almost, you can see it. Um, I guess I'm probably most proud of um, my newest piece of work. And I think that's the same with all the new pieces of work, because every time you make a book or a project on, on whatever scale it is, you learn something new. Um, the, the content doesn't particularly drive my work. It's really a matter of trying to pair typefaces and format and structure with content. I like to design books. I guess if I was to look at it, I'm 60% interested in the design of the book and 40% interested in the content. There has been a huge renaissance in the last decade, I'd say, in Ireland and probably even earlier in Britain and the UK, where people look at a book and they want a book that's special, that's you know printed on handmade acid-free paper with beautiful typography, nice processes of uh, illustration from woodcuts to liner cuts to etchings, beautifully designed and bound. And it's a niche market now, and that's where it, its future is. Mm -hmm.